Alrighty, hey yo, what's up, mates? EJ Rick here, bringing you guys a short, quick guide on how to set up your controller in Tree of Savior. Now, personally, guys, I like using the program XPatter, or you can use something like Joy to Key, which is basically a third-party program which emulates joystick or joypad controller inputs as keyboard presses. Now, you would think this would be an easy one-to-one. -one. I'm using the controller right now, and it seems to be working pretty good. But uh, when I try to go use some of my other buttons, such as my trigger buttons and stuff like that, they're activating what is target lock, which is essentially hitting the control key on the keyboard however my joy to key or x pattern is not set up to do that it's automatically assuming it and i quite frankly cannot change that if i go to the ui mode you can see that it tries to automatically assume whether or not you're using a controller or a keyboard and stuff like that uh, and quite frankly i want it to act as if i'm using a keyboard so i can use x pattern uh, and if i go to the key settings for instance i can't really change any of these settings uh, in individually at least I can f some of them for the keyboard and mouse but my my controller right here I'm not able to change it so uh, how do I edit this so we're gonna have to use a third-party program to trick the game into not automatically assuming our controller inputs which is something that the game is doing this is exactly why I'm getting control lock and this is not the key that is mapped on X pattern uh, it's assuming that input already so we're gonna make sure the game does not recognize the joypad controller and in doing so we'll be able to use X pattern or something like that to the full functionality so we'll just jump to that real quick to show you guys how it's done alrighty guys as I mentioned we're gonna be using a very simple tool made by Messi Rion here on the board of toss base shout out to him because this is very useful very small and very uh, user friendly tool with the UI here but guys when you download the tool and I'm gonna try to make an extra mirror link just in case these links here at the download page do not work but when you download it and you extract it you'll be able to see you'll have these files here which you'll need all of them so go ahead and just right click and copy all of those and we're gonna be dumping them into the release folder of uh, Tree of Savior so basically I'm gonna show on the screen right here you just need to go into your Steam apps folder go into common go to Tree of Savior and then the release folder and here's where all the main files are all you have to do is right click and paste all of the files from the extracted hotkey changer and just dump them into here now you can see all of them are basically right here we're gonna go ahead and open the uh, hotkey changer and you'll end up with a screen like this now there is a lot of customization you can do with this program for instance if I load the keyboard mode I can change all of the default hotkeys of the keyboard I do believe this functionality is also in game although I feel like this one might be even more in depth than that so if you wanted to change your key customization here you can do that uh, but for this purposes of this guide we're just gonna reload the joystick mode because like I said I want to try to utilize the functionality that's in the game but I also want to remove the ability for it to recognize joysticks and joyed uh, buttons and when you guys open up the page this will be full of different combinations and hotkeys that are going to be listed here. What I've done is I've just gone ahead and deleted all of them. Okay, so I've made them all blank. They don't show up at all. And by doing that, it's just going to make it so that Tree of Savior cannot recognize when you're using your joystick, which is exactly what we want uh, because we don't want it to automatically assume and, and change our controls for us. So just make sure you delete all of the hotkeys and press keys and go ahead and hit the save button right here. And that will just save uh, the file here and the game will no longer be able to read it. Like I said, you can change the controllers. You can try to edit it, all of it here. Mess around with the functionality if you want, but that's all I want it for. And we're kind of done with that program afterward. What I want to use instead is uh, XPatter, which is a really good program. Um, I'm not, this is not a guide for how to use XPatter, but I've already made a complete setup for how I want to use it in the game, and indeed, XPatter does work. And as you guys can see here, I'm kind of pressing the buttons on the controller. There are just mimicking or emulating what I would be pressing on the keyboard so you know I've got my thumb pad here got my buttons here and the one reason why I really like X pattern is that it does functionality that would not be possible if you tried to map it in the game for instance right here this is actually a toggle button my left trigger here is a toggle button to get access to other buttons you see here while I have it held down, I have access to these hotkeys. While I have this trigger down, I have access to those, and so on and so forth. So uh, you you can you can't really get that functionality if you just were uh, you know using the key bindings that were in the game. So that's kind of why 
I went through all of this effort to try to show you guys this. <laughs> you know, you don't want it to automatically assume button presses, okay? You want to, you know, use X pattern to the fullest, and that's what this does. So, anyway, guys, hopefully this guide was very helpful. I know it's a short one, but if you want to use X pattern or if you want to use a controller in this game, I do highly recommend it um, because it's, you know, it's, it's really frustrating when the game is trying to assume controls for you and you, you don't have the freedom that you want. So, this does that for you, and it's not, you know, it's not a hack or anything. It's just editing some of the XML files. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Hopefully, uh, you know, you don't have to play with a controller. I just think it's 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 a good game to play with a controller. I feel like it's kind of one of those lean back games where controller is very nice. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you nights later.